Hey all, Joy Boy here. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the market trends for the coming months to years. Remember this video is going to be very opinionated based on what I think about the markets and what I expect the market to do in the near future. So before we get into this presentation, I do really want to let you know that there is a disclaimer. Please, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I'm going to be talking about is going to be a sensitive thing to talk about on YouTube because a lot of people blindly follow when people like me upload a video about the market trends for the coming months. To years so please remember to take everything with a grain of salt it's more of like an entertainment just to see what other people are thinking about but it's not a indication for you to buy or sell stocks so please do your own research once again before you do any of that enjoy the video and let's get straight into it first of all before I get into it I really want to make this clear before I get into the main market trend stuff is that the economic Kind of trend is not really the same thing as the stock market trend they share the same long-term trend like for example in the bigger picture in the greater scheme of things they are pretty much on a similar kind of level there but they can behave pretty pretty differently um, amongst each other so I think there was a really good analogy that I really liked when I was looking through some YouTube videos and I think someone mentioned something like this, a man and a dog going out for a walk. That's a really good representation of what the economy and the stock markets kind of relationship is. The man is the economy and the dog is the stock market. I don't know where I saw this but yeah, credits to the guy who ever said it. So pretty much they walk a similar direction right in the greater scheme of things for example they might be walking from home to the supermarket in the great scheme of things they might be going up down or sideways right even though they're walking the same direction in the greater scheme of things the dog doesn't exactly take the exact path of the economy right not only that um, while the economy is going upwards the stock market can go down and vice versa the stock market can be going up but the economy can be going down for example right now the economy is not getting better obviously at the moment it's going either sideways or downwards and the stock market has been a bit you know optimistic and there was a bit of uptrend coming up in the past month or so a bit of recovery from that massive dip we saw in March so I think that's the kind of thing we have to think about um, please do not treat the economy and the stock market as the same thing because it's not but it is correlated in a sense but in a greater scheme of things that's all you have to remember there so there's three big types of market trends it's really simple it's either uptrend sideways or downtrend also we call it bullish consolidation and bearish right and when you're buying it's a bull move it's a long move and downtrend you're shorting it um, there's a lot of different terms different um, terms for different cases but they all basically mean the same thing so uptrend is when the graph is going upwards sideways just doing this it might be a just a wave up and down up and down within a certain range limit but it doesn't go beyond that kind of range so it just does that and it just keeps going on sideways that's called consolidation in a sense and downtrend is when it's going downwards and i guess time frame is another important factor but um yeah this could be for short term or long term there is normally a, some kind of trend and in the short term the trend might differ from the long term trend so those three you have to always remember not that hard is it before i get into my own opinions let me state it right here in a slide because it's that important nobody knows what the market will do if anyone tells you they know what the market's going to do in the next months to years, just run in the opposite direction. Because obviously, not even experts can say 
that they know where the market's going to head towards in the next year or so. It's not that simple. There's so many different factors that play in market trends. And it's inevitably, it's driven by people, right? You can't really control what people invest in and stuff like that in the big picture, right? There's so many investors in this world, you cannot drive the whole community a certain direction just because you wanted to or just because you expected to like it doesn't work like that so nobody really knows and i'm gonna say the same thing i don't know but this is my own predictions i'm gonna be talking about if you are gonna ask someone uh take it with a grain of salt because um it's all speculation at the end of it so that's what i really want to let you know so let's get into it my opinion on the market trends for the coming months to years so right now we are in a consolidation phase after the first wave so i consider a wave when we have a full cycle we had a all-time high back in february then we kind of dropped in march um, we consolidated a bit in um, April and then we saw a little recovery in April as well and in May and it's just consolidating right now. Some companies they recovered fully back to their all-time high levels back in February or some of them only recovered half of its dip and so on so on. Um, I guess that differs for each company but in general we're probably around the consolidation stages after the first full wave whether it recovered fully or not that's not really the main point here so that's where we are right now so in the second half of 2020 from now till end of the year i don't expect the market trend to do that well i don't expect the market to go beyond the all-time highs we just don't have that economic fundamentals anymore a lot of people are losing their jobs people are not getting their pay raises you know there's a lot of things happening that wouldn't particularly make the stock market go into a full long-term uptrend um, if that's what you're looking for i personally don't think it's going to happen i hope we see a second dip so I can buy up more stocks, you know what I mean. But in all seriousness, I think we will see a second wave come through, which is a second massive dip. And it might even break the support levels of some companies that didn't dip much already. Of course, um, the market trend doesn't always work with all companies. Um, it really depends on the nature of the sector and the company and stuff like that there are a lot not a lot but there are a few recession proof companies that just operates and operates and operates whether the climates are up or down for example we got a company like spark a lot of people use broadband and mobile phones etc etc they don't really lose their business because the economy is falling or the stock market's falling right like it doesn't matter if the economy is bad, people are still going to use their phones, people are still going to use their broadband and stuff like that. So for their business, it's relatively recession proof and that's what you would call a recession proof. Same with Countdown or Pack and Save or these supermarkets, consumer staples. People don't do anything differently during a recession with these kind of companies, right? They just utilize them as they normally would milk food and clothing and just normal retail stuff these things people just need it in their basic lives so these things are normally not that affected but in the general scheme of things i am looking for that second wave to kick in and i want to see another dip coming because i think people are too optimistic at the moment and i really don't know if this is sustainable it might continue to just consolidate for a longer period of time but i personally think it would have a second dip whether it will retest the support levels that are created in the past month or two we are not too sure but we will see about that in 2021 i expect it to consolidate for a longer period of time and kind of get ready for the next economic expansion and once the economy starts going up again the stock market can also kind of pick it up as well so i think the consolidation will be somewhat long it really depends on what happens from now till end of this year will kind of determine 
exactly what might happen after that. Um, I guess this is the same with any kind of market trend predictions. But looking at it right now, we might see longer periods of uncertainty because people really don't know. There's, it's quite split on half of the people are very optimistic about the stock market and the other half of the people are not so optimistic. They're actually pessimistic someone like me some people think it's still cheap some people think it's just overly expensive it, there's a lot of different views on the market right now and this causes a strong long holding consolidation phase so just remember that um, I think it's going to do that for quite some time and in 2022 is where I'm gonna say hey we might see an uptrend finally confirmed for the long Term. Just like the 2010-11-ish all the way to 2020, that was a really really nice uptrend we had in most of the markets and I think we're going to see something like that somewhere around 2022. These were my opinions on the market trend. I think there is a few things we need to know that has changed where a lot of people like to compare current market trends with the previous historic market trends and the main problem here is that the generations has changed, the times has changed, it's not the same kind of investing environment we have like back in 10 years ago, 20 years ago and even 100 years ago and during the Great Depression. I think the internet and how fast we can obtain information about a company or a fund you know all these alert systems bot trading I think a lot of these things kind of make it really really hard there's an extra layer that has been just put on top of stock market investing and it just makes the complexity a lot more harder because we can obtain information so quickly people react to these kind of price changes dramatically compared to back in the days. For example, if Facebook went down for a period of days, people will know it by the hour, right? People will be like, hey, why is Facebook down? Oh my goodness, is the system dead now? Okay, let's sell our Facebook shares and so on and so on. It just reacts really, really, really quickly. It's not like back in the days where it has some time for the effect to kick in. It, it, the effect kicks in pretty quickly nowadays. And at the same time, it's so easy to collect information as well uh, just because of the internet. The internet changed everything in my opinion. So I think that's a really big thing we have to think about when we um, talk about how fast these market trends can come or occur. And once again, before I finish this video off, remember everything I said might be wrong. So please take it with a grain of salt. If you like today's video, give me that thumbs up, put a comment down below what you thought, subscribe to the channel and put the bell notification for my upcoming notifications. Every now and then I would try to do a live session on YouTube so please check in with your notifications because it will probably alert you that I'm doing a live video and hopefully I can pick a nice time. I don't know how to advertise it because I don't really have like a Facebook page or anything like that but I will try schedule the live video prior so you can see it on my channel and get notifications before the actual live session starts. Until next time I'll catch around. Latest.